Hi there! Today, we're diving into something a little deeper than usual. Why money is spiritual, and how you can attract more of it into your life. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, wait, money and spirituality, aren't they two different things? But trust me, they're connected in ways you might not expect. So let's break it down. First off, money is energy. Just like everything else in the universe, money is a form of energy that flows in and out of your life. If you're constantly thinking of money in a negative way, like stressing about bills or feeling like you never have enough, that energy creates a block. So the first step to bringing more money into your life is to shift your mindset. Start seeing money as something positive, something abundant, and something that flows naturally to you. Let me hit you with this. Money is a tool. It's neutral. It's not good or bad, it's how you use it that matters. When you start thinking of money as a tool for freedom, growth, and even helping others, that's when it starts coming into your life more easily. You're not chasing money just for the sake of it. You're bringing it in with a purpose. Now let's talk about specific steps you can take to bring more of that money energy into your life. Step one, clear your money blocks. Take a moment to reflect on any limiting beliefs you have around money. Maybe you grew up hearing things like money doesn't grow on trees or rich people are greedy. Write down those beliefs and then actively challenge them. Replace those thoughts with affirmations like I deserve wealth or money flows to me easily and freely. It sounds simple, but trust me, it works. Step two, be grateful for the money you already have. Gratitude is a magnet for abundance. Instead of focusing on what you lack, start thanking the universe for every dollar you have right now. When you get your paycheck, thank the universe. When you find a random dollar in your jacket pocket, be grateful. Gratitude opens up the space for more money to flow in. Step three, give to receive. This might sound counterintuitive, but one of the best ways to attract money is to be generous with what you already have. When you give, whether it's donating to charity or helping someone in need, you're signaling to the universe that you trust in the flow of abundance. It's a powerful way to clear any scarcity mindset and open yourself up to receiving more. Step four, visualize your wealth. Take a few minutes each day to visualize the kind of wealth you want to attract. See it in your mind, whether that's a certain number in your bank account, the house you want to live in, or the lifestyle you want to enjoy. The more vividly you can picture it, the more you're signaling to the universe that you're ready to receive it. Step five, take aligned action. Of course, none of this works unless you're also putting in the effort. Attracting money isn't just about sitting on your couch and hoping it falls into your lap. You need to take action, but not just any action, aligned action. This means going after opportunities that resonate with you, whether it's starting a side hustle, investing in yourself, or learning new skills. When your actions align with your mindset, that's when things really start to shift. All right, let's do a quick recap. Shift your mindset. Money is energy, and you need to clear any negative blocks around it. Be grateful for the money you already have to attract more. Give to receive. When you're generous, the universe rewards you. Visualize your wealth to bring it into reality. Take aligned action to move towards your financial goals. Money isn't just paper or numbers on a screen. It's a reflection of your inner world, your mindset, and your energy. When you treat it as such, you open yourself up to new levels of abundance. That's it for today, guys. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more content on how to live a more abundant life. Let me know in the comments how you're bringing more money into your life. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet, and don't forget to click the notification button. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you, and have a great day.